Hi, good morning to all. We are going to see a topic, electronic instrumentation in this video. So, I think most of you are familiarized with what is instrumentation or electronic instrumentation. We are going to see the basic block diagram of an electronic instrumentation system and its main importance like that. It is not a vast topic, a small topic. We are going to see just a basic block diagram and other important parameters regarding the system, this electronic instrumentation system. So before we are going to this electronic instrumentation, that name electronic instrumentation is actually the application of electronics in the stream of a branch of science that is instrumentation. Actually, the branch of engineering instrumentation. Actually, instrumentation, what is instrumentation? Before we are going to help on this question, it is better to know what is instrumentation. Then we can see application of electronics in instrumentation. Actually, what is instrumentation? Instrumentation is a technology of measurement, measurement which serves not only science but all branch of measurement, medicine and almost every human endeavor. Actually, instrumentation dealing with the measuring methods. You see, without measurement, without measurement, there is no day-to-day -day life. We are measuring a lot of things. Actually, we are comparing a lot of things. How comparison happens? How comparison happens? I am purchasing 10 pens with 50 rupees then similarly 9 pens with 50 rupees 10 pens with 50 rupees and 9 pens with 50 rupees then my parent told me it is better to buy 10 pens with 50 rupees 9 pens with 50 rupees it is not that much cheap, you buy 10 pence with 50 rupees. How my parents told me, told to me, is 10 pence with 50 rupees cheaper than 9 pence with 50 rupees. With a comparison, with a comparison we are able to say, it is 10 pence with 50 rupees means for 1 pen it is 5 rupees only. But for 9 pence with 50 rupees means it is not 5, it is 5 rupees and some paisa also there. Okay. So, from that point of view, we are able to come to a conclusion that the first option is better. Then, in the case of pen, I can say I am able to measure or I am able to compare with the price. But it is not that much easy all cases. Most of our day to day life, we are buying a lot of commodities to our home. If we are considering uh, fruits or sugar, whatever it is, normally you, are, you can see in the roadside. 2 orange, 100 rupees, sorry, 2 kilo orange, 100 rupees, another person is saying, 3 kilo orange, it is 120 rupees, 2 kilo orange, 100 rupees, another shop and say, 3 kilo orange, 120 rupees, then you will calculate, 2 kilo orange, 100 rupees means, 1 kilo orange which is 50 rupees. 3 kilo orange, 120 rupees means 1 kilo orange which is 40 only. So it is better than 2 kilo orange, 100 rupees. So you came to a conclusion. So the comparison and conclusion happens. But to compare these two, there should be a measurement that is 2 kilo. You have to measure 
it is 2 kilo orange. You have to make sure that that person is giving 2 kilogram orange to you with this 100 rupees or 3 kilogram orange to you with 100 rupees. So that measurement you can see in each and every part of your life. So it's, a, it's an application of engineering. It's an application of engineering. In your economics, this measurement is there. When you are buying anything, you are calculating whether you are getting your um, uh, exact amount or exact quantity. If you are going to medical field, measurement is there to diagnose your disease. We require a lot of measurements for the treatment. We require measurement. So, in economics, our day to day life, a medical field, engineering field, in um, basically in physics and chemistry, you can see. In physics, a lot of measurements you are taking. Based on that, you are designing one circuit. Or you are designing one uh, phys uh, application of phys physical, anything, whatever it is. Mm, if it is mechanical engineering or electronics engineering, whatever it is. You are measuring that one and then only you are designing that. In the case of chemistry, how to measure this much ml, this quantity, this much ml sodium hydroxide or 200 ml hydrochloric acid, that measurement should be there. So measurement is a very important one. And all the days we were measuring, most of our measuring instruments were analog. You can see on the left side, here you are measuring the weight. It, it was an analog. When these two are the same, this needle will be on the middle, at the middle point. But it is an analog. You cannot measure exact milligram reading or less than milligram, you can measure kilogram. Can you imagine, will you use this equipment to measure one kilogram or one pound that's gold, uh, that is one gram gold, will you choose to measure, uh, will you choose this equipment to measure? No, because it is not that much accurate. You require more accurate one. So it is very difficult. You, you can see in all the our um, shops, jewelries, there was a me measuring device in the same shape, but it will measure very minute variations. Then only you can measure one gram, because one gram is near to two thousand or three thousand rupees. Then, second one is temperature. This also we were using in our older days. Now, these two instruments now replaced by this one. See, this is now using most of our shows. Jewelry is also you can see like this one. See, how many digits are there? Four digits. It doesn't mean that, that it can measure 1000 kilogram or 2000 kilogram. Not only that much. 1.0001 that is 1.1 means 1 kilogram and 100 gram 1.01 means 1 kilogram and 10 gram 1 kilogram and 1 gram that also you are able to measure here that much accuracy is there similarly temperature you see here is it easy to measure the exact temperature reading no but that is now it is possible with the help of this type thermometer. So this one is actually application, application of electronics field in instrumentation that is measuring. So most of our older instrumentation or measuring devices replaced by our electronic equipment and those electronic equipments we are using to measure. So it's an actually a application of electronics. So we are going to see electronic instrumentation. One of the main application of this one, the 
may be very important application in this scenario you can see most of you may be familiar with this type figure in recent days the most difficult time we are passing through a most difficult time on major disaster happens to our human race in this 21st century that is corona that is covid 19 to overcome this disease actually in this video why i i am taking this video in online since the college and schools are sh uh, shut down for lockdown for 21 days due to this disease so we are passing uh, we are going through such a terrific time in that time see if we were, we were using this type thermometer could you imagine will be able to use that type thermometer to measure body temperature and detect the, the first symptom of corona disease that is the first symptom of corona disease normally we are using fever cough like these things so to measure this fever the, the there should be increase in temperature that increase in temperature if you are going to measure by using this thermometer do you able to imagine will it be possible in one airport in one uh, railway station or like that a mass of people are coming there each of this person are keeping this thermometer and keep it uh, for uh, 30 second then measuring this one whether this person is how temperature all these things and the accuracy will be very very less and the one of the main important thing is there should be at least 1 meter difference the not not only one meter as much as a uh, distance should be there from this a uh, patient and the uh, another patient, uh, person so that distance cannot be measured and there is a touching um, in most of the case the things which are touching by this patient should not be touched with other persons so without body contact you are able to measure the body temperature with the principle that is infrared principle of physics and that we implemented or design and made a one equipment it is for red thermometer so it's an application of electronic instruments so see how it is helping in our recent time how it is uh, useful to us so this is one of the important application we can see in medical field so we are going to see such instrumentation system electronic instrumentation in this chapter so the as a beginning i just said the introduction next one we are going to see what is electronic instrumentation electronics mesh instrumentation electronic measurement this measurement is the process of determining the amount i already told you degree or capacity by comparison to the accepted standard that is accepted standard like that 1000 grams or 1 kg 1000 ml is 1 liter 100 cm is 1 meter like that some accepted standards are there and then electronic instrument is a device used for determining the value or magnitude of a quantity or variable such as voltage or current of a system not only this voltage current of a system we are measuring with this thermometer it is reading the physical quantity converting that one as electrical quantity voltage or current then displaying as a physical um, understandable uh, form so such the ways we are dealing in electronic instrumentation so we are going to some performance parameters of electronic equipment that one we can see in the next Thank you.